Welcome to the Art Institute of Atlanta and Virginia Beach graduation ceremony. I'm your host, Eve Vincent Martinez, and today we celebrate the accomplishments of our 2021 graduates. Join us as we take a closer look at student life at the Art Institutes. Hello graduates, my name is Priya Pandey. I'm the Interim Dean of Academic Affairs at the Art Institute of Atlanta and Virginia Beach. I welcome you today to join us for our 2021 commencement ceremony. Congratulations to all of you for a job well done. I'm so proud of you. Without further ado, let's get the ceremony started. It is my honor to introduce the Mayor of Atlanta, Keisha Lance Bottom. Hello and congratulations to all of the 2021 graduates. I'm Atlanta Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms and I'm so happy to join you virtually for this celebration of this amazing accomplishment. What a journey it has been for you to get to this point. In addition to the usual hurdles many of us face as co college students, term papers, final exams, surviving on little more than ramen noodles and caffeine, you also face unprecedented challenges. A global pandemic that changed the world as we knew it, and a racial justice movement that breathed new life into a centuries-long fight for equality. Yet, here we are today. You're graduating, ready to take your next step into the world all while you've had to adjust to the growing pains of this virtual existence that we've experienced, heeding the calls to action for social justice and coping with the collective heartache we have experienced over the past year related to COVID-19. I know it's been difficult and perhaps at times it's felt like a bit too much to bear. But because of these experiences, you are stronger, you are wiser, you are more resilient than ever. In Atlanta, we have a beautiful bronze statue called the Phoenix. It depicts a woman rising from the ashes, being lifted from the flames by a Phoenix. It symbolizes Atlanta's rise from near ruin after the Civil War, a city that is now one of the most renowned, visited and beloved cities in the world. When I think of this class of graduates, I think of that statue. We never could have predicted what a difficult year would have been, but just as the phoenix rises from the ashes, so have you. You will go down in history as one of the most resilient group of graduates that the world has ever known. You've been tested, you've succeeded, and I am pretty sure there's not much else that the world can throw at you that you will not be prepared to tackle head on. With leaders like you, I know that the future is even brighter for all of us. So congratulations again, may you go forth in excellence.
Greetings, class of 2021. I am Dr. David Pugh, president of the Art Institute of Atlanta and Virginia Beach, and it's my pleasure to congratulate all of you on your incredible accomplishments. To the parents, partners, family members, friends, and others who walk this journey with you, thank you all for your sacrifices and support as these students work tirelessly to achieve this milestone. Graduates, during your time as AI students, you grace our school with your creativity, curiosity, intellect, motivation, and grit. I have no doubt that you will continue to impress us with your achievements in the years to come. One theme you will hear throughout this ceremony is that we expect you all to soar to great heights in society. According to the Cambridge Dictionary, soar means to rise very quickly to a high level. Today, I will use SOAR as an acronym to touch on social responsibility, ownership, action, and resilience. Social responsibility is the act of working with others to make society a better place. As a graduate of the Art Institute, you have learned the importance of collaboration, creativity, and compassion, all of which will benefit you in being a socially responsible citizen. So, as you leave AI, Continue to pay it forward in your local community. Work on a Habitat for Humanity build. Host a fundraiser for a worthwhile charity. Volunteer with a local youth organization. Do your part to be socially responsible. Next, you must own both your failures and successes. If you do fail, use that moment as an opportunity to improve and to succeed the next time. When you do succeed, be proud, but use your success to inspire others. Hold yourself accountable to the highest standard in everything that you do. If you practice this philosophy in every facet of your life, the sky is the limit in what you can achieve. Next, you must continually take action to improve the world around you. If you think of a better way to solve a problem, share your ideas. If you're curious to learn more, ask questions. If you see something wrong, speak up. In the words of American philosopher William James, active is what you do, makes a difference. It does. Finally, you must be resilient. If the past year and a half has taught us anything, it has taught us that we can face any challenge. You all have had to overcome many obstacles due to the pandemic, all of which could have been used as a reason or excuse to quit. But guess what? You showed resilience and grit. You did not give up, and today you are graduating. You all are the epitome of resilience. Although thousands of graduates from the Art Institute have gone on to accomplish many great things, I believe that your class has the opportunity to make an even greater impact given the extraordinary times we have experienced while you were students. You are entering a workforce that needs your talent, your creativity, collaboration, courage, and your empathy. Those characteristics combined with the education you received from this institution give you the unique opportunity to soar even higher than those who came before you. I truly hope that you take full advantage of what lies ahead. Congratulations again on this special moment. I would now like to introduce Dr. Deborah harris Sims, Campus Director of the Art Institute of Virginia Beach. Good afternoon, friends, families, and esteemed graduates. Welcome to your commencement. I am excited to be here today to congratulate the class of 2021, a class defined by resilience, conviction, and determination. Over the last year, there have been many opportunities to get quit, give up, and submit to the challenges affecting so many in our community. But your amazing commitment to creative solutions allow you to persevere. It is amazing to recognize now more than ever the impact and immense opportunity for people who combine creative, technical, and artistic skills that are essential to the discovery of outside of the box solutions. It is apparent that each of you ascend the typical think tank because you have mastered the art of surpassing expectations. The unique talents that you have honed, developed, and shared here at the Art Institute will always be remembered and cherished. We are proud of what you have accomplished. You are now ready to elevate to your second win, to rise and excel, to enjoy 
this moment. Embrace the anticipation, the anxiety, and the uncertainty of what comes next because you are flourishing and you are here to make an impact. As you move forward to the next phase of your commitment to lifelong learning, continue to make the world your library. As a future leader, seek to be a trailblazer. As you move into the professional workplace, always allow your products to demonstrate excellence. Opportunity will always be waiting for you around the corner from optimism. Thank you again and congratulations. You can catch our commencement speaker as a regular on the Today Show or Good Morning America and currently as a weekly contributor to Dr. Oz's new series, The Dish on Oz. Her love of cooking and entertaining inspired her to trade in her business suit for a chef's coat. She studied in Italy and Austria, but her culinary degree is from the Art Institute of Atlanta. Ladies and gentlemen, Chef Jamika Pizzoa. Hi, everybody. Wow, it is such an honor to be here with you today. And I mean, look at you, graduates of 2021. Wow, you did it. Congratulations. I mean, you showed up to class, or rather you logged on. You logged on to class. <laughs> you did everything that was necessary to get you to this very point. So you should be very proud of yourself. Wow. And I mean, I, I love graduation because not only do I get to address you, but it also takes me back to my time when I was at AI. And I mean, I had a great experience. And I think what stands out to me the most was my instructors. I mean, my instructors were so nurturing and encouraging. And I mean, they pushed me because they genuinely wanted to see me win. And I'm pretty sure many of you have similar experiences in your um, program, but I needed that so much. And I, I appreciate them for that. But I hate to be the bearer of bad news today, but, <laughs> but when you get out into the real world, my friends, the world is probably not going to be as reassuring as what you're accustomed to. OK, the world's probably not going to say you can do it because the world's going to say, no, you can't. And the world's going to try to make you feel like you're not enough and you're not smart enough. You're not talented enough and you don't look the part or your life doesn't matter. That's what the world is going to say to you. So you have to be prepared for that and you have to applaud yourself because the world's not going to do it for you. You have to learn how to applaud all of your efforts, all of your energy. OK, because I think even when I was in culinary school, we did a lot of teamwork in the labs and as classmates, like we encouraged each other because if I did well, then we all did well because we got the same grades. So we supported each other. But once again, the world is gonna tell you when you get out there that that person sitting next to you is your competition. And you have to do every single thing to beat that person to the punch because they're gonna take your shot if you don't. Now, and I have to tell you, I've been out here for a long time and it took me a minute to get this, but hear me when I say, what is for you is for you. No one can take any opportunity away from you. It's already been declared and it has your name written on it. So don't treat everybody like your competition. Treat them as your ally. So when you're out in your field and you see someone doing something that you admire and you 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 want to tell them that, tell them, encourage them, let them know how you appreciate what they're doing, because they need to hear that just as much as you need to hear it. OK, because now my career has gone from the kitchen to entertainment and I thought the kitchen was tough. But once I got to entertainment, I mean, you would be astounded at some of the things that were said to me to try to make me feel like I was inferior and that I didn't belong there. And you're going to have your own experiences when you get out there. So what are you going to do? What I'm telling you today is when the world tells you that you are not enough and that and what you can't do and everything that you're not, you tell the world, stare right in the face and you tell the world exactly who you are. Tell the world how talented you are. Show them how smart you are and how powerful and strong you are. That's what you're going to do. OK, because you have to be the loudest voice in the room and you have to be your biggest cheerleader. OK, and not only do I want you to applaud your 
um, successes and all of your efforts. I want you to applaud the times when you fail. Yes, you heard me right. I want you to applaud yourself when you fail. Because think about it, anyone that has ever done anything great had to fail first. It's a part of the process. I mean, we all have to go through it. So when you fail, I want you to take that lesson, you get better and you tuck it under your belt and you keep moving forward. Because guess what? That means that you are one step greater, one step closer to your greatness. Yes. So whether it's a whisper under your breath, like in the middle of a challenge, or you scream it to the top of your lungs while you are in a room by yourself, I want you to give that applause, that energy, give it life, give it sound and release it into the universe. That is the first step of letting the world know that you know who you are, okay? So now you got that, right? Applaud yourself, you can do that. I know you can, you're very smart because you're graduates, right? <laughs> okay, so today is a very special day and I have a gift for you. I would never show up here empty handed. So yes, um, I want you to close your eyes. Now play along with me, close your eyes, close your eyes. And I want you to listen. <laughs> you hear that? Yes, that is for you. <laughs> I gave you your round of applause. So if you were in media, photography, design, um, audio, culinary, everybody that's a part of this experience today, this round of applause was for you. I mean, it makes you feel good. Like I know you're smiling right now. It just gives you energy and makes you wanna keep going. So the task I leave you with today is to recreate that every single day. Applaud yourself and, and encourage yourself so that you can feel that every single day and make sure you do it for someone else too. Okay. So I have to say, thank you. Thank you for letting me be a part of this, this day with you. And I already know you have your phones out. So go ahead and follow me on social media at Chef Jamika, because I want to hear from you. I want to hear your success stories and how fantastic you're doing out there. And that way we can continue to soar together and we can encourage another one another along the way. Yes. So Thank you so much. Congratulations again, class of 2021. God bless. You've just heard a very passionate speech from our commencement speaker. Suffice it to say, she speaks for all of our Art Institute of Atlanta and Virginia Beach graduates as young professionals going out into the world, most of them for the very first time. Now, please welcome our distinguished alumni, Joshua Leonard. Hello, my name is Joshua Leonard and I graduated from the Art Institute in 2018, so I know exactly how hard it was for you to get this far. I just wanna to talk to you a little bit about tenacity and motivation. I was able to do what I've done now as an artist and an animator and a character designer, which has gotten me work for Netflix, Nickelodeon, Sony Immersive Studios, and starting tomorrow, Baobab Studios, where I'm still doing character design. So one thing I learned at the Art Institute is how to stay persistent, motivated, and do my best. The biggest accomplishment I've had was creating a cartoon called Team Supreme. Team Supreme is about a group of kids who have a disability, but their disabilities double as superpowers. So me creating that cartoon and using everything that I learned from the Art Institute has gotten me able to work with people like Jason Weaver from The Lion King, Lena Waithe from The Shy, Queen and Slim, and her company Hillman Grad, to them being able to develop it with me. So back to you guys. I'm very proud of you for graduating. I know how tough it was to get this far. I want to say people are going to doubt you in life. Do your best. Use that as motivation and ammunition. Congratulations, class of 2021. Welcome and greetings. Graduating class of 2021 faculty, family, and friends. I would like to congratulate all my fellow alums on completing this milestone. I would like to give a special thanks to family and friends who stood beside these students on their journey to graduation. Without your support, a lot of us will not be here in attendance today. I began this journey after serving the world's greatest military for 20 years and decided that the Art Institute would help me start the next phase of my life. During those 20 years, I studied 
the food of all the various places I've visited and practiced them at home frequently. I would like to remind you that my job in the military had nothing to do with culinary. I was just as clueless as the next student beside me and during their first quarter here. And I just enjoyed watching the Food Network. I didn't truly understand the passion that I had for those foods and that I grew their love until I enrolled into the Art Institute. This school has helped me refine my palate and take those foreign experiences and place them into a business model. The pandemic, however, did bring me trying times, which made me change my business model from a brick and mortar to a cloud kitchen that is also involved into catering events. I would not know where to even begin my adventure if it was not for the Art Institute. I've stood beside some of you in kitchen labs and classrooms and just wanted to say we did it. Everyone here has a story to tell and mine spanned over a 20 year career. I want all the graduates and faculty to know that the faculty is here to assist you in the next phase of your career. Everyone graduating today has shown what it takes to reach milestones in their life. However, it does not end here. You have to continue on your own path and career vision, the same passion you had to make it here today. My time here was not easy by far, but the staff here was to pick me up when I was down. I want to congratulate everyone again on completing this journey because it was not easy. I salute you all and wish you great success in future endeavors. Now is the time that we've all been waiting for, the presentation of our graduates for 2020 and 2021. Kaishika Yvonne Smith. Brittany Nicole Furrow. Madison McCurley. Rayleigh Kenneth Orndorff. Marissa Anita Semak. Christian Vasquez. Ayla Rashai Afia Watts. Andrew Weir. Charity Artists. Victoria Louise Bersinger. Kathleen Carpenter. Angela Claire DeSeo. Mulenga Kevin Dioka. Major Filer. Corey V. Gentless. Lonnie George. Marcus Anthony Guthrie. Kimel Joel Johnny. Jamil McLeish. Darius Miller. James Moore. Heidi Elizabeth O'Daniel. Charlie Richardson the third Samantha Renee Ritger Kyle Scrobizesqui C 
Sam T. Edwin Vialba. Brianna Alexis Alexander. Malik Mathis. Calvin V. Smith. Sherita Crenshaw. Tamara Puckett. Elizabeth Sexton. Megan Rachel Stanislaw. Cynthia L. Williams. Jahani Vargas. Haley Vincentainer. Nabila Melicia Bergwin. Dana Victoria Bright. Armani N. Bruce. Shakara Klinscale. Suad Khaled Dewali. Radaja Nakindra Day. Juanita Dorsey Fears. DeConti Fambro. Isaiah Grace. Marisha Grogan. Naya Amira Mohammed. Abimbola Olamihulo. Dorothy Lorraine Pinkston. Melissa Valeria Villarreal. Brett Harold Bentley. Alexis A.J. Cox Ross. Jer Daly. Octavia LaShawn Davis. Ashley Monique Dixon. Eliza Etheridge. Corday Gomez. Paige Jewel. Deandra Tierra Johnson. Raven McGee. Chandria Miley. Brianna Moon. Alyssa Amari Moses. Bianca Renee Motley. Kendale Regina O'Reilly. Raekwon Alexander Smith. Philip Juan.
Oscar A. Cerna. Gabriela Estrada Mendez. Kevin Kenneth Hernandez. Sarah Celeste Lamont Foster. Chanel Idris Mims. John Norman Nobles Jr. Andre Lamont Norwood. Mark Hessinger Osipek. Darren O'Neill. Amari Rakestraw. Dylan James Reiner. Jeremiah Andrew Shuford. Travis Anthony Stevenson. Trey Rashad Thomas. Anthony Wesley. Christine Sekou. Dashalek Renisha Brown. Kia Rennell Jackson. Jessica Jones. Andrew Acock. Samuel Walker. Jazanke M. Baldwin. Dylan M. Bates. Michael Bromagen. Aaron Cordero Cheney. Michael Dennis. Nicholas Gomez. Ahmad Goodley. James Halliday. Luigi Salvato Rojas Caloretti. Pamela K. Snow. Charles West. Stacy Lynn Ancar. Edgardo Hernandez. Alexandria B. Lusso. Jeruby Cobit Tatum. David Champion. Tracy Nicole Gibbons. Courtney Hanforth. Alton J. Hayes. Ashley Olive. Daniel Gaspar Rodriguez. Megan Lee Bruner. David S. Rose. Jacob Willard. J. 
Josh Arici. Allah Attar. Nathaniel Cole Baker. Michaela Elizabeth Bloxham. Brittany Eugenia Butt. Terrence Dwayne Campbell. Shannon Dion Chambers. Marvin Covington. Anthony Delgado. Jessica Downey. Andre Wayne Alexander Gray. Nikori Horn. Sylvia Husted. Caitlin A. Jackson. Michael A. Johnson. Giassi Joyner. Patrick Anan Kenjorski. Mary Kirk. Jasmine Loera. Tia Rochelle Manley. Rodrigo Moreno. Dutan Nijan. Terence Norman. Irvin Odalo. Ethan Pistella. Michael Reitenauer. Morgan J. Settle. Sean Mutibwa Sewanyana. Avery Kenneth Susick. Maggie Josephine Tarwater. Darius Jamal Caldwell. Michael Zane Higgins. Selena Alkius. Sarah Evelyn Beavers. Nicole Hunter. Timothy Scott Lowry. Darius Ballard. Ariel Taylor Boyle. Jasmine Chapman. Tariah Hammonds. Adam Harvey. Monica Tung. Daisy Torres Orduna. Michaela 
victory. Miranda Lynn Wilder. Benita Bynum Bay. Daniel Chase Quasigrach. Gary J. Latalati. Carl David Anderson Jr. Christopher Atkinson. Daniel W. Bynum. Chantel Antoinette Conway. Crystal C. Cox. Marve Dionis Crawford. Cordero Dakota Dowdell. Mary Ashton Green. Aaliyah Grogan. Misty Dawn Harper. Alandrea Loggins. Marlon Anthony McCrary. Ashley Sierra Porter. Sierra Lachey Salisbury. Matthew Jace Sipes. Mario Spencer. Philip St. John. Camille Alexandria Swinton. Troy Henry. Takia Olivia Adams. Pedro Ochoa Alviso. Zaria Bushel. Marcus Derwin Carr. Nathaniel Craig. Maya Alicia Eubanks. Akil Martin Gordon. Jakai Franklin Hembrick. April Hopkins. Lania Johnson. Samantha Bailey Mariona. Amanda Polish. Jasmine Reed. Alan William Reed. Justin Ricardo Smith. Daniel Scott Thomas. Margaret Hazel Tilson. Tayana Danae Turner Muse.
Desmond Wells. Tiana Westry. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating our summer fall 2020 and winter spring 2021 candidates for graduation. President Pugh, I affirm that our graduates have successfully completed the academic requirement and are ready to proceed with the conferring of their degrees. By the power vested in me by the State of Georgia and the Board of Trustees of the Art Institute of Atlanta and the Art Institute of Virginia Beach, I hereby confer upon you the Diploma, the Associate in Arts, the Bachelor of Arts, the Bachelor of Fine Arts, and the Bachelor of Science degrees. Graduates, please move your tassels from the right side of your mortarboard to the left side, signifying that you have completed your program of study. <laughs> We extend our congratulations to the families, spouses, children, parents, and friends of our graduates, and thank you all for your support and encouragement. Thank you to the graduates whose many achievements we are celebrating today. Well, we've come to the end of our graduation ceremony for 2021. Congratulations to all of our graduates and on behalf of the Art Institutes, we wish you all the best.